Welcome to another update by Force 13 on Major Hurricane Bud in the Eastern Pacific off the coast of Mexico. It is currently a storm that is still intensifying, although expected to start weakening soon as it approaches the Baja Peninsula of Mexico. As of 9 p.m. Mountain Time, it is moving northwest at 7 miles an hour at a location of 17.6 degrees north and 107.6 degrees west. It has a minimum pressure of 951 millibars and maximum sustained winds of 125 miles an hour. As of the time of this recording, there is currently no warnings in effect, but that should change the next day or so as the storm continues to move northward as watches and warnings should be put out for the Baja Peninsula within the next day. Here's the current National Hurricane Center forecast cone for Hurricane Bud. If you take a look, you've noticed that shifted west over the past day or so as the system has moved more west-northwest than northwest compared to what the original cone said yesterday. So you'll see there's a change that yesterday the center was saying that there would be landfall on the southern tip of the Baja Peninsula. That has shifted west now to the southwest area of the peninsula, away from the resort area. But knowing systems in this hemisphere, that can mean slightly stronger wind impacts for the area as well. The other thing you can notice is that the National Hurricane Center's intensity forecast has risen compared to yesterday as the storm has gotten stronger and stayed stronger for a longer period of time than was initially forecast. So compared to yesterday where we had a weak tropical storm potentially impacting the area, it could now be a moderate to strong tropical storm. Here's the current intensity guidance from computer models. Uh, they all say that Bud's reaches peak right now. That's going to weaken as the days go on, reaching days five as a minimal tropical st storm or even a tropical depression. However, when we look at these, we should keep in mind that these models are a few hours old. The National Hurricane Center has just changed its guidance to say that Bud will be a moderate to strong tropical storm when it reaches Baja, California. These models say that it will be a low-end tropical storm or depression. Uh, that These are obviously subject to change, but right now they argue that Bud's reaches peak and that over the next two and a half to three days it will lose hurricane status and continue to weaken from there. One thing that is helping Bud maintain its intensity right now is wind shear. It's currently in an area where there's no wind shear at all, if not decreasing in the near future for where Bud is going. However, as you can see, a bit to the north of the storm, wind shear starts to pick up, and according to the forecast tracks and models, this is what's going to help start eating away at the storm and weaken it over the days one to five outwards from here as land interaction and wind shear will start to tear part of the system, rip out its moisture, and weaken it overall. The other factor that may contribute to weakening of Bud during the next couple days is sea surface temperatures. Even though they are marginal and can support a tropical cyclone, they may not be warm enough to support a high-end Category 3 hurricane at this point. And during the next couple days, as it continues to chew up this warm water, it probably will start to cool down a bit, especially as it continues to near the peninsula. And that will probably help the storm start to weaken a bit as time goes on into the next couple days. And we'll see what happens with the storm, but it looks like sea surface temperatures won't be supporting it much longer. Here's some satellite imagery of Hurricane Bud during the later part of the day today into sunset over the storm. Uh, this is about an hour too old as the time of the update, so things may have changed slightly since this. But as you can see, the storm is looking better and better defined as the day has gone on. Eyes become cleared out more, storms becoming more circular. There has been some hints that the storm may potentially be going annular, although the odds are against it doing that as the storm may be potentially going down on itself in the next 12 to 24 hours as conditions start to fall apart around the system. Here's the water vapor imagery as well. You can see right now that the storm has plenty of moist air to work with around it. It's nowhere near where Aletta was uh, directly to the far left of the screen where you can see lots of dry air in the image. It's got plenty of moist air to work with off the coast of Mexico. And you can see with this imagery really how the eyes clear out more during the day and to the start of the night and is much wider now, much more cleared out, and um, whether or not this hold remains to be seen, but the storm is certainly looking more impressive right now than it has been earlier in the day and yesterday. Here's what some of the computer models say right now with Bud. This is the HWRF metal. It starts off weakening Bud pretty quickly as it moves northward, bringing it to Baja, California as a minimal tropical storm, uh, making landfall on the southern tip as well. Uh, it may be a bit behind on the uptake because it shows Bud at the start of it weaker than the storm currently is. So the storm may be stronger or weaker depending on what the model wants to run with it. But this is the current look from the HWRF. And here's what the h model says. It also weakens Bud but we quickly but more gradually than the HWRF. It actually brings Bud further off the coast of the Baja Peninsula before crossing it over into the Gulf of California and then into the mainland coast of Mexico. It weakens it slower than um, the HWRF model does, though, so it is going to be, from what this model says, a relatively moderate tropical storm at landfall rather than a weak one. 
And here's what the GFS model has to say about Bud right now. It actually keeps it stronger than the rest of the models altogether. Um, a bit further west in the landfall, though, but it does keep Bud as a strong tropical storm making landfall in the Baja Peninsula rather than a weak one or a moderate storm. It does initialize Bud, though, as a weaker storm in terms of wind speed, but lower in terms of pressure. So this could go either way, but the GFS track is what we're looking at right now mostly, and it keeps it right around the National Hurricane Center forecast cone right now. That's going to be it for this update by Force 13 on Major Hurricane Bud in the Eastern Pacific, starting to near down on Baja Peninsula of Mexico. This update was made in coordination with Hypercyclone X, our Mexican partner. Make sure to check them out in the link below to check out their Facebook page. Make sure also to subscribe to this YouTube channel right here if you haven't already to keep track of all tropical cyclones. We make updates at least once or twice a day on every active cyclone. Make sure to also check us out on Facebook and Twitter at Force13 All in Text. We've also launched a Patreon now at Force13 on Patreon so that people like you can contribute money to us to help us grow our project even better and stronger as every day goes on. And to join chat servers, contact Force13 on Skype or add Fool13 at extension 9094 on Discord for tropical weather chat.